So another big tech company reported positive earnings, but still dropped. And I want to talk about it today. So if you guys like me making these update videos on stocks that I think are extremely oversold, please, all we ask you to do is drop a thumbs up if you feel like we earned it. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. So the stock that I want to talk about today is Twitter. This one was actually brought to my attention during our free live trading session today, which was absolutely amazing. I love trading live with you guys, and we're going to be trading live on Monday as well. So if you guys want to tune on into that, click the second link down below to learn a little bit more on how you can join us. But what I want to show you is Twitter today announced earnings. It was pods of earnings, but for their Q3, they only reported an increase of 1 million active users daily in comparison to the expectation that they had, which was 10 million. In comparison to where they have a total of 187 million users and they expected 195 million users. And one of the things that I want to share with you guys is based off of the earnings that we have seen this week, especially for tech companies, a majority of them reported positive earnings but their guidance or expectation was a little off. And because of that, we have not only seen these tech companies drop, but because tech companies make such a big portion of our market cap valuation, stocks like Apple, stocks like Twitter have significantly affected the market. And we can see this with just its performance today. The overall market is down 3% today which if you guys remember yesterday's video, no one can tell the future, right? No one can see the future. I don't have a crystal ball. All I was saying in yesterday's video was that we were approaching a previous resistance level based off of a descending pattern. The market was overbought and Apple reported earnings yesterday. And before the report, I simply said that I was going to reduce my position size. And if Apple sells off, then I'm going to buy a little bit more Apple. And that's exactly what I did today because of how the market played out. Again, if you're not comfortable buying when the market's selling off because you can't tolerate that risk or you don't know how to control your position size, 100%, it is so much easier to make money when the overall direction is in your favor. I'm simply putting my money in these tech stocks because I plan to hold them for a much longer period of time. But what I want to show you is how Twitter looks. And again, if you guys want me to continue to make these videos as I come across them, I would love to talk about stocks that I focus on three things. And let me know in the comment section what your criteria is. This is simply mine. So if you don't see value in this, if you don't want to add it to your watch list, if you don't want to follow up with it, then I 100% respect that. But it is my job to talk about stocks that I feel like are good deals and that I think can have the potential to recover. The first thing that I really like about Twitter is that it's an overall uptrend. For the past 180 days since the overall ma March madness, right, we've been seeing signs of consistent growth. Obviously, it's a tech stock, and obviously, with the market selling off, it has had an influence, and unfortunately, it was affected due to poor earnings. This acted as a negative catalyst and significantly pulled back, if I'm not mistaken, over 20% on the day. So, what I decided to do, not encouraging this for anyone, is I took a very, in my opinion, appropriate position not a heavy one right because we don't know how much more twitter can sell off but i took an appropriate position on twitter because i i want to buy it at a good deal and if it continues to sell off then again because my position size is so small i can tolerate that movement and if it begins to indicate signs of an uptrend then guess what i can add more to my position size as the direction confirmed right as of right now I am down $49 on the open. I bought it for $42.15, right? $14.99 with 100 shares, right? So uh, not too bad. It's a very appropriate position for the account size that I have. And I'm very excited to follow up with it. And so we talked about the direction. It's much easier to make money when the overall direction is in your favor. I saw this to be a good deal based off of recent patterns and where it normally bounces at the SMA line. Sometimes it does fall below that, but overall, big picture, it tends to be very bullish. This is an unfortunate negative catalyst that drove the price down. What I've seen based off of previous patterns, which do not have to repeat themselves, is that we see this act as a negative catalyst for a short period of time, just like we saw with Bed Bath & Beyond, just like we saw with Facebook. It finds a support. It doesn't mean that it's going to be anytime soon. So this is why you need to either watch your position size or not buy in too early, depending on how you manage your risk. And then once we get proper confirmation of an uptrend, it breaks above the EMA line. It begins to show signs of higher highs and higher lows, right? Just like it has before. Then that's when I can add more to my position size. Again, 
as direction is in my favor. And the third thing that I like about it is, is that it's consistent. It's very easy to be able to see the high points, the low points, the high points, the low points, the high points, 180 day highs and the low points. So because of that, I decided to take advantage of it. I simply want to talk about it. I wanted to talk about Hey, you know, they, they did not see during Q3 as much growth as they did for, you know, Q2. And there's no question about that in the beginning of quarantine, right? They saw exponential growth as, you know, a lot of these social media platforms and pe while people were in quarantine saw much more users being a lot more engaging with these social media platforms. Now, as we're easing out of quarantine, well, I guess it's a little too early to say with this new spike of the COVID cases, but thinking big picture, I can see this pullback to be a good deal opportunity where again, I want to watch my position size. I can pick up Twitter for a decent price and as it confirms and if it confirms indication of an uptrend, then that's when I can add more to my position size. So I wanted to talk to you guys about the stock that I see value in, that the stock that I think is oversold, why it's sold off and why I see value in it and my plan. So I did all five things in this video. I hope that again, if you see value in it, you can just add it to your watch list, uh, set your alerts and maybe follow up with it when it makes sense to you. If it doesn't make sense to you, if it does not meet your criteria, then again, there's nothing wrong with just moving on forward. And that's the beautiful thing about the stock market is that you are the final decision maker on where you choose to put your money either as a trader or as an investor. And one of the things that we also want to encourage you is as the market is selling off, people are freaking out two things that I want to share with you. This, this will be the last thing and I'll let you guys enjoy your Halloween is how important it is to create an effective watch list. And I know that sounds super boring. Who wants to do that? I don't know. Right. But the reason I'm saying this is if the market continues to sell off and you don't want to be in a current position right now, let's just say if the market sells off, I'm not saying it is, and I don't really think it will, but with the increase of COVID cases, with the election and the second stimulus check and what's going on right now, if we do go back to the price levels in March, how are you going to prepare yourself? Again, I'd rather encourage you guys to be prepared versus being surprised. So right now, all I want to encourage you is to take time, build a watch list of stocks that you find as quality companies that you would want to buy if the market were to sell off, that you would want to hold big picture, airlines, cruise lines, cannabis, tech, it doesn't matter, right? We all see value in different ways. All I want to do is encourage you to prepare your future self. And I think that's an appropriate uh, plan to have. So I really do appreciate you guys' time. I'm very excited to follow up. I hope that I earned your thumbs up in this video. And don't forget, if you guys want to join us for our live trading session this Monday, all you have to do is click the second link down below. If you guys follow me on Instagram, don't hesitate to send me a direct message. And of course, you guys can ask me for a discount if you're ready to join our team. Until then, like always team, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy.